Hey, what's going on everybody? So I've been getting a lot of messages about how do I play Call of Duty Mobile on the PC with an Xbox controller. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to download what this is over here. It's called the Game Loop, Tencent Game Loop. Now where you can find that is on Google and I'll show you that right over here. So what you want to type in is Game Loop Tencent and it will be this first link right here. Now if you click that, you scroll down over here, the download link is right here. So you click that, download it, install it. Okay. Once you get that downloaded, this is what it's going to look like. Now these games right here are the ones that I already have on here, but you would probably need to go to Game Center and you would find Call of Duty somewhere at the top. And you just click that and add that to your games. Okay, now once you get that, you're going to click on Call of Duty and start it. And now I'm going to show you how to basically map your controls in the game. So, Oh yeah, and one thing to note, um, once you download this new software, you probably want to go to the settings and kind of check that out. Because I think when you first install it, it doesn't come in 1080p for the resolution you'd have to actually change that yourself and then the rest of this you can kind of uh change to your preference but let the game boot and then as you can see i already have my buttons showing of how i have mine mapped which um that's just my preference you can map them however you would like and i'll show you how to do that okay so how i'm going to do this is i'm going to invite my friend which is actually my brother, into a private match just so I can uh, mess with the controls freely without um, getting bothered by people trying to kill me. So, okay, so we'll start the game. And yeah, it's definitely easier to map it once the game starts so you know exactly where to put your buttons. And yes, there is an option to make the buttons invisible. I like the, me personally, I like to see the buttons so I know where they are and I remember what they are. Um, but if you would like to make them invisible, you can do that too. So, okay, so start the game. It has a setting for keyboard and mouse automatically, and you can map that if you prefer to do it that way. But once the game starts, your mouse kind of locks into the game. So what you have to do is press control on your keyboard and it frees up your mouse. And then you click this button over here called key mapping. Now I'm gonna show you guys. Now, right here you see where it says keyboard. So if you click that, you can set it all to keyboard settings. Okay, since I don't play keyboard, I use a gamepad. I go over here and I have uh, all my controls mapped. Now I'm gonna show you a couple things. So this right here is your joystick, okay? So see, okay, I don't know why it mapped over here. Okay, so I put my right stick, this is your viewing stick. I just set it somewhere over here. It doesn't really need it. Just keep it out of the way of all the other buttons. And this is how you would be able to move your camera. Now your joystick obviously goes over here where the joystick module is in the game. I think somewhere over here. Right there, I think. Okay. Now all these are how I have it. So you don't need to put two buttons here. If you press, if you just put one button here and just press Y twice, it'll switch your weapons. That's kind of how I have mine. So I put my reload over here and that's X. And you basically just click this and then you press the button you want to map it to. And then boom, done. And you pretty much do that with all the buttons that you would like. And and as you look, I kind of, this again is how I have mine set up, but you can do it however you like. Okay, so then once you got it all mapped, make sure you just click on here. Actually, you can click this thing over here to full screen. Once this is clicked, you'll be in full screen mode. And now your controls are mapped. So now I'm, I'm using the joysticks to move and look around. Um, when you aim, I have mine as left trigger to aim, but in normal Call of Duty games, you would hold it down to aim. In this game, you just have to tap it and it'll auto aim. Okay, and then I put my settings in Call of Duty to always sprint, so there isn't an extra button you have to press to keep sprinting. You're actually always in sprint. Okay, besides that, everything else is all is going to be your preference of how you want to set it up, so... Um, I think from this point, you should be able to figure the rest of it out. But if you have any questions, uh, just uh, message me in the comments and I will be able to get back to you guys 
pretty quick. Um, and then also make sure if you haven't already to uh, like and subscribe if uh, this was helpful or not. And I'll see you guys next time.